So I just want to say that the last time I was at the Sally house, I said a lot of things. And um, to spare myself the embarrassment, I will now have my colleague read them out. These are the things you said? This is exactly what I said as I left the Sally house. And I... Okay. Ryan, fuck you. I hope you're fucking looking at this now, motherfucker. Shane, did you just call the demon a motherfucker? Ryan, I don't give a shit now. I'm gone. Peace out, bitch. Not even a single part of me feels bad about leaving. Go fuck yourself, Sally House. You were truly awful, and I hate you. I know you thought you'd never see me again. And frankly, I never thought I'd see you again. But we're just gonna have to deal with it tonight. I can't remember what I said back then, but what I'm gonna say right now is buckle the fuck up. Oh, we love to see it! Cause I'm back, baby! That's character You growth. wanted me, Sally, I'm back! <laughs> Now it is funny that they are both real estate agents and they cannot sell their house. <laughs> you know, you know. Maybe they're just not that good at their jobs, or maybe, just maybe, no one wants to live in Florida. I'm just imagining a bunch of people going, do you, "You need to buy a house here." It's like I'm a real estate agent too. Do you want to buy a house here? And that's just a big feedback loop. Do you want to buy a house here? I'm, it's I'm real selling. estate agents selling just, real estate to other real, real estate. estates. Like, I know you're ripping me off, but I already have a house. On January 23rd, 1974, between 6 and 6.15 p.m., the 56-year-old Athalia went outside to walk her pet blue jay, Clementine. <laughs> that is cool. She's taking her bird for a walk. I love that. I had a wonderful little bird, I understand. We all know you kept your bird in a freezer for two years. The ground was hard, we couldn't bury him yet. For two years. No, it wasn't two years, it was just over the harsh Chicago winter when the ground thawed, we buried him in the garden. We all know you ate that bird. We you all know can't it. eat a parrot. You did. Tell me I how didn't you did eat it. a parrot. I loved him. I'm done talking about my parrot. I'm not entertaining this bit. Because <laughs> I love that little bird. Do you think this person maybe was Clementine's original owner and just wanted the, the bird back? I did not consider that possibility. It's actually not even in my theories. Well, it wouldn't be the first time you've glossed over things. Well, so. I do think it's a bit of a jump to say, hey, that's my parrot. I think your head doesn't look good on your shoulders anymore. Yeah, so we know you're not one to jump to conclusions. I don't jump to conclusions. Shoddy theories. Only if I have some facts behind it, big boy. Take it away. <laughs> I think it's important to say that because I imagine people who are watching this, they were imagining Jason Voorhees murdering this lady. Yeah. But in reality, everyone had a machete, so it could have been Jim from down the street. You go to the, the church on Sunday, the priest is standing up there with machete. Well, he's using it as a pointer. Yeah. Using it, they're using it. <laughs> Throwing holy water at yeah. people. <laughs> they're using it to point out items on PowerPoint presentations. Everyone has a machete. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. Watching Men in Black, I never knew it was based on a true story. <laughs> <laughs> today, today we find out. Think of them as the cleaners of the extraterrestrial universe. How much black do they actually wear? Do they look like the men in black that we see in the movies? We'll get into what they really look like later. Yeah. Once they pull apart their skin <laughs> and the an alien okay. comes out. Don't know if you know this, but this guy was stacked. Like Tom Hardy? Jacked. Dude was, was big. He's a moose. Like? Have you seen a picture of this guy with his shirt off? There's pictures where he's like leaned out, you know, like Brad Pitt in Fight Club. Yeah. Like that kind of look. But there's other ones where he's like straight up Bane. Like human cloud. Yeah. Guy's a goddamn transformer. All right. Truckosaurus. I just, I, you think of magicians, you think of like sweaty nerds usually, like performing card magic. Nowadays, in yeah, 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 yeah. They didn't have muscle tech back then, did they? Not that I know of. I think he was just like eating raw meat, just going into the forest and biting rabbits' heads off. Yeah. <laughs> Pulling it out of the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Along with the submerged magician. Within two minutes, Houdini would somehow break free and emerge from behind the milk can, with it still padlocked. In his lifetime, no one ever knew how he did it. How big is a milk can? Like... No, he wasn't squeezed into a milk bottle. This is like oh. a bigger, like a barrel. Okay. Barrel's probably more accurate. I was about to be very impressed. That would be crazy. Yeah. You better tread lightly here, buddy. Otherwise... They're not gonna let you back in to that old foggy town they call London. Is that a threat? I think so. I'm, I'm speaking on behalf of England here. I think that's fair for me to do. She had her own beanie baby, so watch your mouth. Hear me out here. I'm speaking on behalf of Batman and Robin, and I'm gonna tell you right now that the boys don't respond well to threats. You're gonna beat me up because I told you you shouldn't slander Diana, Princess of Wales. Yes. Okay, that's a choice. 
Must be fun to be a young, sexy person in London. Uh -huh. You're not referring to us in London, right? No, no. There was nothing beautiful about what happened to us in London. Also interesting that she was obviously uh, an aristocrat. She was, you know, she was wealthy, had a title, and yet still living in an apartment with pals and, and a kindergarten in teacher. In one of the most expensive cities in the world. That is true. <laughs> that is true. But a kindergarten teacher nonetheless. True, yeah. Uh, noble. That guy was really reaching for a descriptor there. Wow, you really <laughs> dug deep for that one. Well, a <laughs> prince and a princess got married. It's the stuff of fairy tales. <laughs> yeah, he really Oh, went. is it? Went deep in his bag for that <laughs> bad boy. Making matters worse for the princess, the one person she would have obviously looked to for help inside the palace, Prince Charles, was proving to be less than adequate company. According to the princess, her disordered eating began to develop after Charles placed his hand on her waist and remarked, quote, a bit chubby here, aren't we? End quote. Chuck? Chuck sucks. Do not do that, ever. Again, I get that he's, you know, doesn't have the greatest living situation. I'm sure things were equally difficult for him. Well, no, fuck him. What am I talking about? Yeah. He could go fuck himself. <laughs> <laughs> now, aside from the I, the fact that, obviously, it's, he's, he's not a great guy for cheating on his wife. Yeah. It's just gross. Just British, gross. British, British pillow talk. Lived in her knickers. Vile. Could you imagine someone whispering that to you and then you not crawling out of your skin? Oh, I sure lived in your knickers. <laughs> and I'd be like, excuse me? Is he imagining like a Stuart Little situation? I don't know. It seems like it would be a hot place to live. This is a true crime show. Yeah. We're on season eight. That's the most disgusting, off-putting thing I've ever heard. Call me sick and perverse, but I would like to hear more uh, British sayings that they say to each other when it's like yeah. a, Try a heat, off of in the the heat of the moment. Yeah. Disgust me. I mean, okay? usually it's just like, oh, I'm well chuffed. Do I make you randy? <laughs> Do I? I wish I lived in your knickers, baby. Yeah. Yes? I like, the, I just like the description that they were laughing about the doll. What are you doing right now? You're laughing about the doll. No, but I love the idea of them being like, ha, 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 ah! <laughs> What's the most disrespectful thing I can do to her? I'm not gonna help you workshop our death. What if I creep her out and then she's afraid of me? And then she gets in a car accident. Jesus Christ. Yeah, because she drives home. She's going to get back into her Prius. She's like, I don't like this place anymore. Gets in her little Malibu Barbie car. Yeah, her little doll car. <laughs> <laughs> That's the shadow doll. That's the shadow doll. So apparently, you could use this doll to curse somebody and have it do your bidding for you. It'll attack you in your sleep. So I could say... That's not Ryan how you... Bergara. Well, I'm not going to tell you how to do it, because if I do, you're going to do it. I'll figure it out. I'll read the instruction manual and get back to her.